Well, I thought maybe we'd start this time with uh, answering a question that was on one of our videos. A number of weeks ago, we uh, did some repair on Shooting Gal's boot. Uh, we used uh, flex glue and glued her heel back on. That's one of her favorite boots. And uh, um, by the way, we don't get paid by flex glue, flex seal, or any of those guys uh, to do these videos. The way we get paid is through our Amazon link. And I'll leave a link down below where you can click on that. And so if you were to purchase anything through that link, uh, including the flex glue stuff, which we really like because we use it around here, um, we'll get a little bit of that and it doesn't cost you a penny more. So make sure you're using our link. But uh, the question came in. Uh, let's see here. It's from Yerk88. Here's the video, the uh, the email right there, um, and it's on our video called "Can Flex Glue Fix a Shoe?" And I'll leave a link so you can watch that if you haven't seen it already. Uh, York eighty eight says, "So how's the shoe holding up? I just put some on my rain boots and it's drying right now." Well, I'll tell you, York eighty eight, it's working just fine. We. Uh, uh, we went through snowpocalypse here in Texas. Shooting Gal wore these boots, and it stuck on there. It's not coming off. It does a really good job. I would I would warn anybody, if you're using flex glue or flex tape or any of those flexy, sticky stuff things that they've got, um, make sure you're putting it on something you don't want to take apart again because it does a really good job. Now, it is kind of flexible, and I can wiggle it around, but it's not coming off. So as far as how's it holding up, it's holding up real good. Uh, Yerk88, would you let us know how your uh, rain boots hold up? I would really love to hear about how that, that worked out for you. By the way, keep it on. Keep the flex glue stuff on for at least 48 hours before um, going out and using it. Uh, it takes at least that long for it to cure 100% and grab onto things. And once it reaches maximum strength, Flex glue can easily lift over a thousand pounds. So that's our experience with it. Now you know. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. All right, we're back. And this was the real reason why we came here today. Uh, it was a Christmas gift, and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, I, I don't have any affiliation with Four, pa uh, Four Patriots. Um, however, as you saw, I have an affiliate link with Amazon, and I'll put a link to this if you should decide you would like something like this or anything else. If you're buying from Amazon, could you just use my link? That would be very helpful. But uh, So no affiliation with these guys. So this is going to be totally unbiased, and uh, we'll, we'll kind of experiment with this thing together. And uh, so it's basically a power brick that's solar powered. So you, you power the battery that's inside of here and then you can, with that battery, charge other things. And you don't need to have the sun because you got a battery. So, you know what I mean? Let's just get to the specs. Overall length, five and a half inches. It's three inches wide. It's three quarters of an inch thick. It comes in somewhere between the size of a regular cell phone and a jumbo cell phone. It weighs seven and three quarter ounces. It has this handy pocket clip. It has two USB outputs and one USB input for charging the unit with a wall ward. It has this little bump back here. I presume that's where the batteries are, maybe, but it's all sealed inside. Of course, it's solar chargeable. Pretty sensitive too. I mean, even the photo lights are beginning to charge this thing. Here are the voltage specs right on the back. It has this power button on the side that when you press it, it activates it so that it can begin to charge your other unit. Also, when you flip it over and hold it down, it's got its own built-in light. Press it again, it's an emergency light. Press it again, strobe effect still charging it comes with its own charging cable you do have to come up with your own wall ward though but if you think about it you don't need that charging cable for as long as you have sun it's encased in this rubberized ruggedized case is it durable yep 
It's rugged and water resistant. All right, so for all the days I could find to do a solar powered demonstration, I pick a cloudy day. <laughs> It's been uh, very sunny and very nice here in Central Texas and about 60 degrees and today, the day that I decided to do this, uh, it's jumping up to almost 80 degrees and I got cloud cover. But that'll show us uh, how efficient this might be of a solar array, solar panel, if it can take um, some shade or not direct intense sun and convert it into energy and as you can see it's got a a green light there which means it sees light and the blue lights are kind of flashing yeah yeah it's flashing the, the very last one is flashing there which means it's charging the batteries inside of here all right so let me get out my latest and greatest iPhone because I see this to be a device um, really designed for charging your phone or other 5 volt um, recharging needs that can be recharged on USB. So let's open up this thing here. Now I'm sure you can probably find other things, maybe like your your GoPro camera if you're gonna do that. Um, you could charge it I'm sure because it, it could be charged with USB. Just as a reminder before I go on, the center one here, the mini USB, is for charging this unit. So that's power going in to get to charge the battery in, case, in the event that you don't have any uh, sunshine and you have a wall wart and electricity. And the two standard USB ports over here are for charging units. So you can um, theoretically charge two units at the same time. Uh, you get a total of, what does it say down here? You get a total of 2.1 milli milliamps. So if you put two things in, you're gonna split that in half. You get one milliamp each, just like a small wall wart. All right, so let's plug this in. Okay, got that in there. The, uh, the light's green, which means we got sun, we got light. And then I plug this in down here. And 85% charged, and I got my charge light on. I guess you really couldn't see that very well in the, uh, because the sun is um, shining on it. Let's, uh, let me get this thing turned on. And this is, there you go. Sorry about that. So theoretically, uh, the sun is charging the batteries in here, and the batteries in here is charging my phone. I could leave it like this probably all day long and never run out of um, charge capability for that phone until the batteries run out or it gets dark and the batteries run out. Hey look, Async is calling me as I record this from Napa, California. Shall we answer it and see what they say? Let's answer this. Susie calling with the vehicle service department. We are calling about your vehicle's manufacturer's warranty. Oh my gosh. We sent you several notices in the mail that you have yet to extend your warranty past the factory cutoff. No, you didn't. And this is a courtesy call to renew your warranty before we close the file. Close the file. If you're interested in renewing your auto warranty now, please press 5 now. No. Or press 9 to be removed from our list. No, I, I'm not going to do either because... This was not a courtesy call, it was an annoying call. Goodbye. So there you go. <laughs> uh, it charges my phone so well that uh, I got a courtesy call uh, to get my automobile insurance renewed. I don't need it renewed. Thank you. You wanna see how many of those I get? Yeah, I get a lot of those. I'm sure you guys get them too. <sighs> They're scams, ignore them. That was a public service announcement from the shooting guy. Anyway, let me go see if I've got something else that can uh, take a charge on this. I'll be right back. Alrighty then, it got really convoluted here. Uh, I'll put a link to this flashlight that we did a review on, but it's also um, solar powered. And, um, but it's multifunction thing, you know, flashlight and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge the flashlight with this and uh, see if I can turn on a light array that's USB powered. Now that's going to be kind of interesting. I don't know how much power this thing takes. Probably, oh, I don't know. Um, it uses a wall wart, so I think it's going to probably only take one and a half amps to, to do. But we're going to 
discover this together. All right, let's unscrew this. That's the charging port. I'm going to take a mini USB, plug it in there. Now, oh, the light came on. That's interesting. I don't think I turned the light on myself. Well, maybe I did. Yeah, maybe I did. Um, and now this is going to go into here. So technically, I am now charging uh, my solar flashlight with my solar panel and this, this thing here. So this thing is getting double duty. But what I'm going to do is plug in uh, this. And before we get to this thing, I'm going to whip out my handy dandy phone again. Plug that in. Oh, nothing. It's not taking a charge. Okay, so that didn't work. I wonder why that is. Could it be... Could it be because it's taking something in and it won't take something in and out at the same time? Oh, there you go. All right, so well, that's good to know. So this started to charge uh, as soon as I disconnected the, um, the, the power brick. Hmm. I wonder if I plug this in, will it turn it off? Yeah, it did. All right, so there's evidently on the flashlight, there's a switch that turns off its ability to send power when it must receive power. Well, that's sad. Let's see if it works the other way. Let's uh, unplug my phone. We'll swap these things. So technically, I'm going to charge my uh, power brick with my flashlight. Okay, so I've got two solar powers. Now I'm going to plug this guy in. And will that come up? It does. It says charging. Okay, so it does work the other way. So I'm assuming it's working the other way. Because the light's flashing blue, it's taking a charge. And this thing has got a little blue light, which means it's getting sun. This is getting sun. So this would be the configuration if you needed extra, extra power to get a, a phone or something else going. Yeah, and up in the top corner, you can't see it because of the uh, the bright light here, but top corner, there is a little lightning bolt which says I'm charging my phone. All right, well, that's good to know. Now, while it's doing that, will it start? This is just one of those little, um, you know, lights. So let's say you went camping and you needed some light. Oops, what am I doing? There you go. It's this way. And you needed some light in the at the camp. You would. Uh, you know, I can plug that in. I'm charging my phone, and I got two ports on this other thing. I'm gonna plug that in and press on. Oh, oh wait. No, nope, not enough power. I think I have a battery in here. I told you we were going to do this all together today. Okay, well, um, I clearly need a moment. But you know what? Uh, yeah, the shooting guy, there you go, is not shooting with all cylinders. Okay, it's on now. It helps when you, there you go. It's been a day. There you go. So the brick will charge. It, or sorry, it will. It does have enough energy to light up a light array. So if you were in your um, tent at night, you'd uh, definitely get some light. Maybe I ought to show you how, how much light that is in a minute. By the way, I got one of these. I got this thing for like five bucks at Dollar General. If I can find this here, I'll. I'll I'll share a link too. Let's plug that in. There you go. So it's in. So it's taking a charge. Let's see if I can charge my phone. Is there enough? There you go. Oh, and it's charging the phone. 
So clearly there's enough light, um, enough power to not only charge my phone, but give me some light. I'm laughing because I got daylight. Why the heck do I need a light? Well, maybe if I went like this, I would just charge the, ch no, it doesn't work that way. But, uh, so now we know we have quite a bit of energy here that we could uh, light up some things as long as we have, as long as it's charged or, or, or powered by a USB port, five volts. Let's, um, let's take this inside for a minute and see how bright these lights are with just this uh, power brick. So now we're inside and uh, the green light is on. I don't know if you can see that, but the green light is on because I have some ambient light uh, inside and a little blue light is actually on. So even in some ambient light indoors, it is charging itself. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good, to be honest with you. In case you needed power, uh, oh, and as soon as I put my hand over it, the lights all go out. So yeah, it does. It, it is getting some light from that overhead, and it's charging. Um, but if you needed a um, uh, a power brick like this uh, in an emergency, I think uh, you would do yourself well. This this is actually pretty good. I'm also told that there's a 10,000 milliamp hour version of this, uh, a newer version of it. I'll have to do some research, and again, I'll leave links. Um, down below for you to take a look at that. Uh, but I could see, yeah, charging this all day long while you're camping or out or whatever. And then at night, okay, so I'm going to simulate night Coming in here. And that simulates pretty much uh, what I'm seeing inside my tool shed right now with all the, I got the curtains blanked out and the lights are all turned off. Okay, so now I'm going to take the remote Press on. Oh. Nothing. Come on now. Yeah. Evidently, there is not enough. It may just not be charged up enough. Hmm. Oh. You know what? I must not be firing on all cylinders today. Because you, you got to turn the power on. There you go. Uh, blue lights mean the power is on. There you go. Perfect. Here you go. So it does uh, light up this light. And this does pretty good. I mean, if this were in my tent, as you can see, uh, it does pretty well. It's. Uh, I don't know that it's showing up as well on camera as it is real time it is kind of cool though huh i can uh i can make it different colors there you go oh i can even make it flash i could speed up the flash oh different flashes look at that oh that's pretty all right, so in a camping environment, I could see where this um, could be valuable if you wanted to light up a light array. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If you remember from the specs section, all you need to do is press the power button, hold it, and you get this flashlight. Although, that flashlight is nowhere near the amount of light that the... Um, this array is giving me so you may have uh, I, now I don't know how long this array is going to stay on um, there you go quite a bit more light oh, it's flashy there you go it's off quite a bit more light so that may be a good good thing to do all right let's wrap this thing up well there you go I'll go ahead and flash up the price of this thing uh, that I find as of the recording of this. And uh, 30 bucks, I think. It's got quite a bit of horsepower to light things up, as you can see. And uh, charge a phone and on and on and on and on. Not a bad, not a bad thing. And if you are needing 
rugged, water resistant power with a built in flashlight. Uh, and it, you know, it's a little anemic, the flashlight, but really in total darkness, if you had nothing, uh, it'd be better than nothing. Um, plus it does SOS. So if you really, really were in a dire situation, you could, uh, you know, press for SOS and leave it go. All right. I'll put a link down below for this. That's all I have. It's kind of fun. Sorry if I was a little uh, scattered there. Uh, a couple of things just weren't working right, and that was user error. <laughs> not not this stuff necessarily. But uh, I'm kind of liking solar-powered things. I, I do have some solar arrays that I use around the camp uh, site to charge things and um, to power a small inverter so I can get AC power if I needed it. Uh, so I could use that for that and um, use this at nighttime just to charge the few things that I may need to be charged that I couldn't get charged during the day with the other solar panel. Throw it in your truck, if anything, right? Put it in your backpack. There you go. All right, if you got any questions, uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below. If uh, you have different experiences with either this or you have some other solar-powered charging brick power brick things that you use i'd like to know uh what those are because they they definitely interest me and then i can you know do a little research and maybe we'll do a review on it you never know so let me know what you're using okay that's all we'll see you next time i love you guys thank you uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the button and do all that good stuff would you please uh, if you're not subscribed if you are subscribed thank you and uh, click the button, or click the bell. Ring the bell. Again, not firing in all cylinders today. Didn't get much sleep last night. And uh, like I said, had to change. Long story, maybe someday. All right. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Wow, I wonder if I leave this on long enough, it'll actually charge itself and go indefinitely.